Steel Series Sonar is a program that allows us to change the EQ and other audio settings for our headphones. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Shout out Witsy. If it wasn't for him, I would not be making this video right now, but obviously we are just going to be clicking on download here. I will put the link down in the description. And once downloaded and installed, just open the program. You will have to make a Steel Series account, which is a bit annoying, I know, but it is necessary in order to use this software. But once you do have your account created, you will be greeted with this screen. And on the left side, we're just going to be clicking on Sonar. And it's going to say just a few clicks away. And we're going to click on Start Setup right here. And it'll ask you to select your game output. Now, your game output is whatever headphones you may be using. So make sure you just have your headphones selected here. And then have your headphones selected here. This is where your chat will output to. And then on the next tab, you're going to make sure that you have your microphone selected here that you want to use in game or Discord or whatnot and then just give it a moment it'll configure we can click on game on and then we're greeted with this screen here this program does a lot more than what we're going over today but the point of today's video is to get the loudest possible footstep audio as well as audio cues to hear enemy players location so at the top here we're going to select game and then at the configuration here at the top we're going to select cod warzone and as you can see there's a bunch of different games in here so this works well for other games as well but the point of today's video is for warzone so we're selecting that and what this does is gives us the best eq for hearing footsteps in audio cues in warzone so just leave this as is and then we're going to scroll down to spatial audio now a lot of people will say that adding surround sound audio to your game doesn't help it actually hurts if you have a good pair of headphones but so far my experience with using spatial audio is that i've been really able to pinpoint the location of enemies a lot more than i used to be able to the only problem with spatial audio is it kind of makes your game audio sound kind of like crap but we don't care how the game sounds all we care about is hearing enemy players and if we're hearing enemy players and we know exactly where those enemy players are when we hear them that is all that matters so we're going to turn this on and then we're going to drag this slider all the way down to performance that is all you need to do in here to make warzone sound good but one thing i do want to mention here is if you go to settings and under general you will see it says run steel series gg when my computer starts i like to uncheck this otherwise when you start your computer the program's automatically going to be running and applying those settings to your headphones which i don't really want because i only want these settings applied to my headphones when i'm playing warzone we can close out of this program now but one other thing i want to mention is that once you are done playing warzone these settings will still be applied to your headphones and we don't want that so let me move my webcam here and if you click this little up arrow right here at the bottom you'll see the little steel series icon right here just right click that and click exit and that'll unapply all these settings because the program isn't on and running in the background anymore and when you do want to play warzone just make sure that program is open and running in the background midnight mode is what i've found to be the best audio mix for these audio settings and what midnight mode does is it really compresses the audio and what i mean by that is the very loud sounds and the very low sounds are pretty like compressed together which brings the noise of the quiet sounds up and the noise of the louder sounds down which makes it a lot easier to hear those quieter sounds and those louder sounds like the gunshots or the airstrikes just aren't completely drowning out the sounds of footsteps or the sounds of people reloading and whatnot master volume i like to keep this at 100 and adjust the volume of my headphones through my go xlr now if putting it at 100 is going to blow out your ear drums obviously turn it down a little bit it is not worth ruining your hearing just to hear footsteps a little better in warzone and then music we have this turned all the way down we don't want any music playing in the background while we're in a game that's just distracting and going to make it harder to hear noises like footsteps and then dialogue volume you do want some dialogue because you do want to know when an enemy is flying in or when an enemy called in a uav but we don't want it to be super loud that it's overbearing and distracting so i found that having this at 15 is the perfect volume level effects volume you want this at 100 no matter what and then cinematics volume doesn't really matter this is basically for like cutscenes and whatnot so i just put this down to 25 so i can at least still hear the cutscenes when a new season comes out or whatever and then the rest of the audio settings are all pretty much just personal preference we actually gotta win my first game using these audio settings so you guys are gonna get to see my reaction to how good these audio settings actually are this all happens live on stream over on twitch link is in the 
description. I stream basically every single morning. But if this video did help you out at all, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new here and just drop a comment down below. Let me know how this all worked for you. It, I'm actually able to hear like where these footsteps are coming from though. I don't see. I don't know if this is placebo, Under fire. but it seems like there's more situations where I can actually hear where the, the audio is coming from, where I normally wouldn't. Huh? Oh my God. You scared me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little muffled. It, it's really good for the footstep audio though. Yep, they're on top. I'm trying to listen for him. Wow. I was actually able to tell that guy was behind me. The whole team out there. I can hear exactly where this guy is. Ah! Oh my god. Wait, this, this program actually might be crazy. I was low key kind of doubting it, but. Yeah, it's Steel Series Sonar. That's what we're trying. Oh my. Oh God. Oh no. It's behind me. Just close the door. Yep. Oh my God. I'm dead. No, I did not want to mantle the. <laughs> Oh, let's go ghost. Save me. Save me ghost. Nice. Ghost got him. That was a sweaty team too. Uh, I think this might be better than Sunlock. I mean, this is only my first game using it, but this sounds incredible. Like I can actually hear the location of enemies right now. Gotcha, man. Sky right up here. I'll do something about 3v1. Easy, baby. Let's go. I hear him. It's right here. There it is. Let's go, baby. Bro, first game using this? I mean, I feel like I actually heard the locations of people a lot more than normal. That seems insane. That seems really good. 